Hey guys, Michael from Cock Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be covering the sig fig rules for calculations involving multiplication and division. So I have a couple examples here, and we have the rules here. We'll go over the rules briefly, and then we'll take a look at the examples. So the rules are you first count the number of sig figs in each of these numbers, and then your final answer should have the least number of sig figs. This makes a lot more sense when we take a look at examples, so let's just jump straight into it. So first, we're just going to plug this into the calculator and get the get the answer before you even worry about sig figs. So when you plug that in, you'll get the product is 8.55. Then now we just count the number of sig fig in each of these numbers. So this will have two sig figs, because the 2 and the 5 both count, and then this will have three sig figs. Then we just see which one is smaller. 2 is smaller than 3, that means our final answer should have two sig figs. So I'm going to underline the second sig fig. This is the first sig fig, and then this is the second sig fig. Then you have to see whether you need to round that sig fig up or not, so you look at the number next to it, and if it's this, if it's 5 or greater, then you round up. So since this is 5, we're going to round this up to 8.6. So that'll be the correct answer with two sig figs. We're going to take a look at the next sample. We'll plug this into the calculator again, and then we'll get 2.9773905. Let's count the number of sig fig. We have three sig figs here. One, two, three. And we have one, two, three, four sig figs here, and then we have two sig figs here. So of all of these, the least number of sig figs is two, so it means our final answer should have two sig figs. So then I'm going to underline the second sig fig, that's the first sig fig, and then this is the second sig fig. Then you take a look at the number next to it, see if we round up or not. So since this number seven is greater than five, that means we're going to round up. So then we're going to round this up to 3.0, and that will be the final answer. Next one, this one looks a little bit more complicated just because we have more more numbers involved, but it, it's really just two numbers in scientific notation. So then we'll just enter this into calculator and we'll get 0 0.0006170059. Let's count the number of sig fig in these numbers. Then we have one, two, three, four, five sig figs. Remember the scientific notation part doesn't, uh, doesn't count. So that would be five sig figs and then this one one, two, three, three sig figs. So that means our final answer should have the lesser of these these two numbers, which is three sig figs. So then underline the third sig fig. Any zeros in the front doesn't count, so we can just ignore all of these. So this will be the first sig fig, that will be the second one, and then this will be the third one. Then we take a look at the number next to it to see if we round up or not. We don't round up this time because zero is less than five. So that means our final answer would be 0, 0.000. 6.17, or if we report in scientific notation, it'll be 6.17 times 10 to the negative 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, last example. We just have a lot more numbers here, but it's the same process. So we'll just enter, plug all this into calculator, so multiply these three numbers together, and then divide it by the product of these two numbers. So when you enter that into the calculator, you should get 273 six four seven point six six three two then let's take a look at the number of sig fig in each of these numbers here so that we have one two three four sig figs and by the way if you're having difficulty counting sig figs definitely check out my video where i go over that in details of a lot of examples so we have four sig figs here we have one two three four five sig figs here one two three sig figs here five sig figs here and three sig figs here so of all these numbers, the uh, smallest number is 3, so that means our final answer, answer should have 3 sig figs. So let's underline that third sig fig. So that would be the first sig fig, that's the second sig fig, and that's the third sig fig. We take a look at the number next to it, and we see that this 6 is greater than the 5, so that means we need to round this up. So then this becomes 2, 7, 4, and then we just add zeros until we reach the decimal point. And then that will be the final answer. So that will be the answer with 3 sig figs. Or if you report in sign scientific notation it'll be 2.74 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's it. That's the rules for sig figs when you're dealing with multiplication and division. So just enter, plug the numbers in, get the final answer in your calculator first, then count the number of sig figs in each of the given numbers, and the final answer should have the, the lesser amount of the sig figs. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, 
then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going you're gonna to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.